Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna do some work on the Civic in terms of the exhaust. So when I picked up the wheels uh, last week, the guy had these headers as well, and they're labeled Jasma, which I think is like the automotive standard for exhaust manufacturing in Japan. It doesn't have any other markings on it, so I'm not sure who actually makes it but it's been welded up again on the flange. It's definitely been around this um, manifold, so it's gonna need a bit of work. I'm gonna need to port the, the exhaust runners. It has two bungs, so you could run two temperature sensors and the factory heat shield if you wanted to. Still got all the factory brackets, but for some reason the oxygen sensors sensors pointing down towards the ground. This flange is welded on an angle, and it's um, rotated as well. I think it's meant to create back pressure, um, but with my car revving and being high compression, I think it's just going to be a restriction, and I'm going to need to rotate this. So that sensor is pointing towards the side and fix up this flange. I have um, had a go at cleaning this up and polishing it. So my goal is to, to sand it and polish it and get it all looking a bit like this section here. So first step, I'm just gonna use the wire, wire wheel on the drill and just go over and get all of the rust off of it. Okay, so we're going over the whole thing now with the wire buff. Next, gonna get some some 320 or 400 grit uh, wet and dry sandpaper, and we're just gonna sand the whole thing down uh, with the 320 first. Okay, so I've done a pass of 400 over the whole thing and I followed it down with 800 grit as well. So now you can get your um, metal polish or aluminium polish and I'm going to use a polishing bit like this on a drill and go over the whole thing. So now, hour and a half later of polishing, I also tried the fabric uh, disc as well. So this is what the headers look like. I didn't spend as much time on the bottom here because it's not going to be seen. And also the back here. Just mainly focused on the top here and tidying up the rest of it as well. So next step, uh, probably test fit it on the car and we'll see how that flange lines up and we'll cut and we'll see if we have to rotate that flange. So it's another day now and I'm now ready to go to the exhaust shop and you just saw me polishing up these headers so they look a lot better now. So my plan is I'm going to get him to cut this tapered section off and put a flex joint in here and extend it out and put some oxygen sensor bungs in there 
for the wide band you just saw me install in the last episode. So I've bought some parts for the exhaust that I want to get fitted and I'm going to take it to a local shop where I live to get everything made up. So I'll just go through all the parts that I've made and what I'm going to install. Then I've got some more goodies in this box. So I've got a two and a half inch 200 cell cap with an actual provision for an oxygen sensor. So I might run the wide band here. I'm not sure if it's an ideal location considering how close it is to the cap there. So I got that to go in. And then I got this X-Force twin loop muffler. So Mugen used to make a twin loop muffler pretty much identical to this and X-Force has made a copy. So it's got a three inch tip and this one's two and a half inch piping to match the two and a half inch piping for the cat. And I also want to cut this off and go to two and a half inch. I think this is two and three quarter at the moment. So it is quite wide. This main section of the muffler is nine inches in diameter. And then with the, another two and a half inches of this pipe, it makes it quite wide. So I'm going to have to rotate this and orientate it a specific way. And then we saw on the wideband installation video, I'm going to get that installed here, most likely. So you've seen before, these are my current headers. These are just uh, some normal like exhaust mandrel bent pipes. They're actually pretty good. There's a few scratches underneath from the car bottom in here. Um, but these ones I'll likely be selling when I switch to those Jasmine headers. And then the rest of the exhaust at the moment is just uh, not that great. It's just two resonators and a muffler. Um, but it's quite a bit rusty. So if you are interested, I'll be selling the whole exhaust system. If you like how it sounds at the moment, just send me a message on Instagram. So at the back, we've got the twin loop muffler. muffler. And I got him to paint it black at the top there. And then it comes back just over the lower control arm there. So you can see just the other side there. And then we got a hot dog resonator. And he put two new hangers, two new hangers in the middle here as well. And then it comes to a flange and I've got the 200 cell cap. And then on the other side of that, we have the flex joint and then the headers. So then coming into the headers, I got into cut back the tapered section and weld a new piece to go straight to two and a half uh, just so it doesn't have the step down and then in the cap there I now have the oxygen sensor provision to put the wide band in and then come out from the headers now you can see what the jasmine headers look like the narrow band on the left for the factory computer and then the wide band on the right
right guys so that wraps up the uh, video so you just saw an exhaust clip of the car when it's come back I'm really happy with how it's turned out and the sound it's not super loud uh, but it's not too quiet either um, and the looks of it are really good if you have any questions put your comments down below like comment subscribe and i'll see you for the next video